like the birth you have no idea before birth where you are what you were how did you come into your mother's womb you have no idea and similarly you have no idea after death where you go what will happen the body remains here the spirit separates from the body where does the spirit go no idea i can give you a simple uh, analysis uh, example of a television you know in television even after you switch off the television the radio waves are still there the cnn fox channels are still there the vibrations still do exist similarly our body is just the boom box or the what do you call what do you call that the tube it's just the screen you switch off the screen that doesn't mean the the radio waves have also disappeared similarly our spirit remains and it remains with all the impressions especially the last impression in the mind in fact our sleep every night gives us a little glimpse of that just before going to bed notice what is your last thought if you can and when you wake up in the morning if you observe invariably the last thought before sleep will be the first thought when you wake up from sleep so where are you when you are sleeping where are you when you are dreaming i have no idea right so before even trying to understand death it's good we ponder on our dream our wakefulness and our sleep state of consciousness then it gives us an idea there is some you you can feel it it's not just an idea the wrong to use the word idea i would say then you will realize there is something in you that doesn't die at all and you have been here many times with many different impressions and thank god we forget all those things <laughs> so the forgetfulness takes you into a new dimension makes you start all over again what is the ground hog day <laughs> like the ground hog day it makes you start all over again but death is a blessing also in the sense